this is the only video you ever need to watch in order to be able to sell a best-selling children book as a beginner the ideas i'm going to be sharing with you in this video you can use it for any low content book you can use it for any book that you are creating but in this video i'm going to focus on creating a children's book i'm going to show you how to do your research so that you create a book that you know is in demand i'm going to show you how to write a book even if you've never written any book before i'm going to show you how to check everything to make sure that your book is perfect i'm going to show you how to create your illustrations I'm going to show you how to design your book and I'm going to show you how to upload this book showing you everything regarding description regarding pricing I mean everything you need to know as a beginner who has never published before and everything you need to know even if you've been publishing maybe you've been making mistakes so more of our commas in this video I will show you everything you need to know from A to Z in order to be able to publish your book on Amazon hello more of our commas welcome or welcome back if this is your first time here I want to encourage you you to subscribe and become a part of the family and regarding the free information i'm going to be sharing with you there are two things are required of you one please just like this video so that the youtube algorithm can share it with other people and the second thing i require of you is that you take action it makes no sense if you gain all this knowledge and you don't do anything with it in order for you not to make any mistake i want to encourage you to watch every step of the video because everything is very important so the first thing i want us to do is to research what kind of book we are going to be creating it makes no sense if you create a book that is not in demand every tool i'm going to be talking about in this video will be down below one of the tools i use for my research is publisher rocket so i just come here to key search and i click here so let's say i type something like kid storybook children's storybook and i'll click here now it will bring all the different different areas so and then you come here and just search like this and you open up everything so publisher rocket will give you all this information this is talking about the prices and here you see here it's talking about the competitive score with this red it means it's very high these are the amount of money per month. So this is 8,000 something, 8,713. This is 5,198, 11,000 something. So you just keep going. If you keep opening and going down, you'll see all the different prices. So you just keep searching and going until you find the one that is green and green. Like this one, there is high demand of our commerce. If you can step on this now, it's, it's going to be amazing for you. So if you look at this, for example, kids storybooks on following rules, this is very good. So if you are watching this video, this is something you can start publishing on. The sales are high and you see that the competition is very low. The next one is kids storybooks on party, you see, this is how you can easily do your competition and make sure that you create a book that is in high demand so as you do your research you also need keywords amazon gives you space for seven keywords so while here you just make sure that you also select the keywords that are in high demand so after doing all my research i finally decided that i'm going to make a book on friendship so we are going to be using chat gpt to write our stories the links are all going to be down below so i'm going to tell chat gpt to create five titles for a children book story with the theme of friendship and i'll click enter so chat gpt is going to give us five stories so among these stories i'm going to check to see if i like them if i don't i'll ask chat gpt to give more you can ask for 25 10 any any number that you want so after chat gpt gave me the titles i now ask chat gpt to please give me the outline for story two so this is a story two right here and chat gpt gave me an outline so now i asked chat gpt to write a reading story for the entire story and i click enter so and chat gpt is going to write a reading story for you and here is our reading story that chat gpt has written for us so after you have your story the next thing you have to do is to check for ai dictation i see so many people making videos and saying how you should take this and post on amazon so of our commas please don't do that even if amazon is not dictating ai books right now amazon is going to do it one day and your account might be closed don't make those kind of mistakes so what i want you to do now is to come here and then you copy your story now that you've copied this story let's take it and find out so i want you to go to google and just type content at scale ai dictator now you come here and you click on this first one now you have this space here just paste your story that you copied here and when you paste this story scroll down and check 
for AI content. So it's going to do it work and check for you. The best thing for you to do is actually to just get ideas from ChatGPT and write your own book. But some people might not be able to write their own books. You can use ideas like this, but make sure that there is no AI dictation in the book. So you can come here and check the result. This is so good for us. It shows that the probability that this book has been written by a human is 100%. This is good for us because it really did not dictate much AI use. So you can now come here and just make sure that this sentence that has this information, you just make sure you check it because this is showing that there's some AI information here. You just check it and just go through your book and make sure that there is no AI dictation completely. This is going to take you a few minutes to go through this stage, but it is very vital. Considering that ChatGPT just get information from the internet, you know, to make these stories, the next thing I want us to do is to check for plagiarism. Just go to Google and type Grammarly plagiarism checker. And now you come here, you just click here. So it's going to create this space for you. You just paste your story right here and then you scan for plagiarism. It actually tells us that no plagiarism found. In order for you to be able to get stories that are free from plagiarism and stories that are free from AI dictation, what you have to do is that make sure that you write a detailed description of exactly what you want your story to be and give it to ChatGPT so that ChatGPT will be able to take your information and then make a story for you. So right now, what you can do from here, but it shows that there are some spelling errors, there are some punctuation errors, so you can get Grammarly for free. You just get Grammarly for free if you don't have Grammarly. And then take your book now to Grammarly. Let me just show you. So now we are inside Grammarly. I'm going to paste my story here. So this is my story and Grammarly is going to show us different different errors that are in our story you can go ahead for example this is just oliver is telling you what you can do just make sure that you read your story before you accept all these changes so for example there's a comma here that grammarly is not accepting you just go ahead and make sure that friendship here so it says the friendship a friendship so we can take this but make sure that you read the story and make sure that everything is matching just take your time and do your check so when you are done with all of this the next step is for us to do our illustrations so we are going to be using mid journey to create our illustration so you just go to mid journey you join the beta you accept and then you continue when it comes to mid journey if you have to use it commercially you need to at least buy their basic plan which is ten dollars per month or if you are buying it annually, then it's going to be $8. I used to pay sometimes about $50 to illustrate a single page. So it is worth it. So what you have to do is that you can come here to this area that says newbie. You click on it and then you get ready. But if you want to take it a step further, I will encourage you to come here and add a saver. And then just come here and create my own for me and my friend you click here and then it's going to create it for you so when you do that all your images will be together so you'll be able to come back over and over and see it. but when you use the new b room your images just get lost inside so i went ahead already and i created some images these are some images i created for our story and i'm going to show you exactly how to do it so i want you to come here and click forward slash and then you put imagine i want you to go to your story in chat gpt then you just copy this first reading and then you paste whatever you copy there and you click enter so here are our images so what you have to do next in order to be able to have consistent characters is that you come here you choose whatever one that you want so this is u1 u2 u3 and u4 so you just check and see which one you want if it happens that you did it and you did not like it you just come here and redo it again it's going to recreate it for you let's assume that we want to use this one so we'll upscale number two you just come here and you upscale so now we have our image in order for you to be able to have consistent characters as you go through your book what you have to do is that you come here you right click you save image as let me just say rabbit so this is where i actually have all my images so i'll just put it here and i'll save it now the next step what you have to do is that you come here you click here and then you click on upload you go and take the image and you upload it here so you click enter and now that our image is here it's right here you right click you copy image address so now you come you put your forward slash imagine and then you paste the address right here now you go back to your chat gpt and then you copy the second scene for the story you copy that you bring it now you make a space and then you 
paste everything here so when you paste everything you just click enter and then wait for chat gpt to do it work for us so chat gpt is going to generate our illustrations for us based on the story and sometimes since it's ai sometimes some of the images will be looking funny if that happens you just need to redo it or you look at the command and see if you need to change anything like this one look at this one this one is so funny we can't use this so but this one's one two three all of them i believe we can use any of these ones let's assume that one to take this one you just come here and take you three so you keep doing like that and make sure that you have that image uploaded so that it will keep the characters consistent and then you do the same for all your images until you generate all your images for your story look at how they have stooped down here i don't know what they are doing this is interesting the next thing i want us to do is to go to canva and then design our book after i did my research my book is going to be 8.5 by 8.5 inch so i'll come here to customize and make sure i put this to inches so i'll put 8.5 by 8.5 and then you create I know so many of you are struggling with designs and as many people have been asking on the comment so what i did is that i created trim sizes for the most popular designs and i'm going to show you how i use them so i'll just come here i go to upload so i'll upload eight by five and it's going to come to canva and then i'll just click here and then i'll open it like this and it will fit perfectly because it's the size so i have it now like this this is my trim size is 8.5 by 8.5 and it's i'm not it's no bleed so you'll see exactly what i'm going to do so the next thing is to upload our images for our story we just go ahead and upload all our images then we click upload so the next thing we have to do is that we take our story we just click here and then we open this to fit inside this white space don't make it to go out at all we now have our element here so now that we have this the next thing we have to do is to go to chat gpt and copy our story this one we copy and then we go back to canva we take text so we now add our text so if you see that you don't have enough space what some people can do is that you can still come here and open a new page you look for a be the best space and then you fit it here so if it's not very clear what you can do is that you can come here and just take element now you put it here or wherever you want your illustration to be you open it like this you can make it dark you can make it like the black color and then you reduce the transparency so you reduce it here so that it's not affecting your story so you just reduce the size and then take this information now and put on top of it you see that it's going to make it clearer you look for spaces in your story and just put you can still cut some part and put up put some other part down here another thing that you can do is that you can keep your images on one page and the second page is going to have your words so you just take your time adjust your story and make sure everything looks good so if you are doing that then we have one two pages already so you go you go ahead and do like that for all your pages until you create your entire book so i've created the entire story for my book and here is the story i have this book belong to page and i have a dedication page in order to create this page i just went to element and got elements from there got balloons and just make all these things like this so and then i just took this and added here just to make it uniform you share you go to download and you make sure that it is on pdf print you click there and you have all your pages for your book and i prefer if you are using the pay subscription you make sure you take this if you are using the free plan that's fine you use this and then you go ahead and you download your book so after our book is downloaded the next thing that we have to do is to create the cover so i want you to go to google and just type kdp cover calculator and then you come this first one you click here and now while you are here you are doing paperback then the interior is we are taking the premium color because it's a children's book so we want to make sure that it has a premium color and then we come here it's just white page 10 direction we are doing left to right then measurement we are doing inches trim size our book is 8.5 by 8.5 and the number of pages that we had we had 26 pages for our book and then you just come here you calculate and then you download a template so after you download a template it's going to give you this png file and then you just come here you make sure you look for the one that says png so that one that's the one you need so i always just copy this information here i just copy this because i know i'll need it 
so it's 17.311 by 8.75 then you create so after you create it what you can do is that you can either come here and go and upload the png file or you just copy it and paste it here so after it's ready you just make sure you stretch it out to fit inside here so the next thing you have to do is that you take an image you had planned to use for your cover let's say you want to use this then you just bring it here and make sure it fits inside here and then you can take something like this and put on this other side the back side so you can just put something on the back side like this if you want to change this color you just click here you come here you take this pencil icon you bring it here let's say you want it to to match something here you just click here and it's going to change this and then another thing that you can do is that since it's like this if you want your title to show very well I can come and take like this element and then put it here for my title and what I'll do is that I can change it into black so you can come here to transparency and then you reduce the transparency you see what is happening so you reduce the transparency make it a little bit dark but not too black and now we put our title so this is the title of our book that ChatGPT had given us you can rearrange it and then it was friendship and wonder so we have something like this you take your time to create a book cover because this is the most important thing if you don't know how to create a good design it's better you hire somebody to make your design for you and now since when we are done with everything you just come here and then you download you go to share and then you go to download make sure it's on pdf print and then you also just come and then you download the last thing we have to do now is to upload our book to amazon kdp and start selling so you come here to kdp and then you come to create you go to paperback and you go ahead and put the title of your book here when i did my research it was for age 8 to 10 so i'm just going to put something here like that to attract people and then it was friendship wonder i've just added that here and then you come for the author you just put your name so if you are using a pen name you make sure you put your pen name here i'm just putting my real name here because i'm showing you how to do it you come here you put a description for your book you can ask chat gpt to give you a description but you should know that this is a very important part too for your book and you just make sure that the description is well written and then you come here i own the copyright you click on this i own the copyright you continue you take no here and then there is no need to put any h here so that it doesn't restrict your book view by others does your book contain this like low content no and then you come here the next thing you just come here you put all this keyword that you had gotten from publisher record when you are doing your research and if you don't have publisher rocket you can check out this other video because i had already done how you can get free keyword from amazon itself now when you are done with everything you save and continue now you click here so that amazon can give you a free isbn if you don't have your own isbn you use the free isbn from amazon if you have yours you click here and then you put your number so you continue you just go and here so we are taking premium because we want it color and it's a children book so you take premium you come here you choose the size our size is 8.5 by 8.5 you choose that and then we are using no bleed and then our one glossy now it's time for us to upload our manuscript so you go ahead and upload your manuscript that you had downloaded from canva so now you come here you click here to upload your own cover and then you click here to upload you just go ahead and then you upload your cover now that we've uploaded our cover you just come here to launch preview so our book is now ready over commerce we can see that there is no mistake quality check everything is perfect and now everything is ready you can scroll through and just check your book to make sure that all your pages everything is looking beautiful so you can see our book that we just created everything is looking good so wow this is so beautiful when you are done with everything you come here and then you click approve so now it's going to tell us the printing cost how much amazon is going to print this book so you save and continue so at this point you now need to put the price so you decide your own price you want to put based on what you had seen your competitor pricing their books so i'm going to be going with 10.99 dollars and now what i normally do is that i just go through the other ones and just fix it to 0 0.99 0 0.99 throughout so these are the other markets i don't change anything here i just change 0 0.99 and make sure everything is okay so when i come to the end then what i normally do is that i'll um, request for a print copy so you can save the draft so but if you feel that your book is ready you just click on publish 
and it's going to publish on amazon so when you publish you take like 24 to 72 hours sometimes it's earlier and then your book will become available on amazon so but what i normally do is that i come here and i request a proof i'll come here you select your market so i am in the us so i'll take amazon.com depending on what country you are in you take your own market so i'll take amazon.com submit proof request it will become available on your amazon shelf and then you pay for it and then amazon is going to ship it to you and my overcomers to make sure that your book is perfect when i receive my proof copy i actually read it with children read it with some people just to see their own perspective about the book you know sometimes somebody can give you an idea just make sure that everything is perfect there is no mistake and then after that you go and you post your book and your book will become live on amazon so mother commas if you have gotten any value i'll encourage you to like the video if you have not yet subscribed to the channel I'll encourage you to subscribe so that you can become an overcomer and you can share the video with someone please let me know in the comment section the most important thing that you learned from this video in order for you to increase your sales you can click on this next video that i've already done showing you how to increase your sales on your books so mother commas i want to encourage you to keep working hard keep trusting god and you are going to see an amazing result love you all so much bye bye it's been a while since we laid down